My daughter was so upset with me that I took it to you. I gotta figure something else out. Yeah, the reliable pawn broker. You ain't never seen nothing like this. Tune in, trust you don't wanna miss. I'm talking about gold, cash, and silver. Jewelry coming, pawn that. The reliable pawn broker. You know I be on that. Let's go. Hey. Happy Friday to you all. Let's jump right into this episode. I'm grateful for you guys to be here on a Friday. You guys are going to love this episode. Great personality this lady had that came in. I want you guys to watch the full interaction and also all the talk that I had with her. Shared some stories. Um, I had a gentleman come in to claim his price locally. Rudy, thank you once again for all the support. Um, the monitor guy from the last video had some great comments about him. Uh, what else? Um, the Sunfire amp that I mentioned to him. Here's an update on this. Look at what we sold it for. I mentioned it in the episode. I listed it and we automatically got a sell for over $1,500. Um, what else? I'm going pretty quick on this because it's a very busy day today. Looks like we got another customer coming in, scraped his whole car's front. But for all you ladies, four handbags, let me know in the comments which is your favorite. And also, I want to know from you guys the value of these four bags put together. Hey, did I lose my drill? Did you lose your drill? My, my cordless. What's the last thing? Which drill, bro? I got the big one. It's the core. No. Today is the absolute last day. All right. Um, I'll be back. You'll be back. What time you close? Six. All right. I'll be back. All right. Be good. If I have to, you can um, renew it. Can it wait till tomorrow, or I give you some cash, some cash right now. Oh wait, no, I don't have none. I forgot. I spent it. Just call me before six. Let me know. We'll figure something out. All right. Baby. You know, I'm always working with you. Cool. All right. This is it right here, yeah? Yeah, call me at that number. Alright, brother. Alright, brother. Be well. I told you guys I'm going to keep this thing going live. Um, another car just pulled up. So we're going to find out what they need. And then I'll jump right back. You guys might hear this whole thing play out. So let's see how it goes. How are you? Alright, um... You haven't got any phones? Any cheap phones? Not right now, man. Try back next week. Next week or try, try tomorrow. tomorrow. I might have something for you tomorrow. All right, man. All right? All right. See you later. So we're going, we're going live. That was the second customer that walked in. So as I was saying, four bags, let me know in the comment section which is your favorite. One of them you guys have seen, but also the value of these bags they're not cheap, but people bring expensive items because they need some cash. And it's not only because they need it for something crazy. Some of them actually need the cash because they're making a quick investment. So they buy something, flip it, make some profit, come back and pick up their merchandise. So let me run through these real quick. This one here, you guys have seen. So this is the Birkin 25 calf scheme. Um, in gold hardware. Let me know if you guys prefer this one here or we got the sister of that bag which is the one in the gray finish. I can't pronounce the actual term they use for this color so I'm just not gonna even try but another Hermes. Now we got the third bag. Sorry, third bag. The black finish. This is the Kelly 2. Let me know in the comments. And last but not least, and also possibly the most expensive one, the mini in the calf skin. Look at the size of this bag. Probably maybe to hold a phone, but you guys won't believe the price of this one here. So you got four bags. Let me know which one is your favorite and also the value, let's say of the four bags 
complete or if you know the value of one specific let me know in the comment section would love to hear from you guys um, but don't forget we got a prize giveaway at the end of this video I'm gonna give the winner a choice we got a Buffalo one ounce we got the USSA San Francisco one ounce and we got a 2019 Eagle so winners choice from these three um, what else? I think that's about it. Now, let's jump into this episode. Stay tuned because I will give you guys a breakdown at the end. you decide on doing? My daughter was so upset with me that I took it to you without her, you know, making sure that it was beautiful and everything else. So she took it back and cleaned it up and she wants $250 for it. She looked it up on the, online and everything. So I would pass. You won't give me anything else for it? I can't. That, that number she's asking what yes. number can you I think I, I I mean I, I looked at it last time yes I know you did but the prices I couldn't I told you remember I wasn't even able to find that yeah but she did yeah but what is she what did she look up and she, what did she find it's on as, there it's a second name it wasn't Brittany it was uh, the second name for yeah it. it's Elkhart Elkhart yeah but I can't find that model though that's she the model, right? Um, where, where did she find it as, though? I don't know. She looked it up in two seconds. She found it. So. L card I can find, but not this exact model, though. That's what I'm trying to say. I can find L card. That's a very popular, you know, company. And Brittany is not the model. Well, I mean, the name of it. That's what I would think is the model, but I can't find that. That's what I was telling you. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I could find Elkhart. That's not a big deal. But what you would know, you give me for it anyway? If she wants two fifty, I can't even come close. What to else that. could you give? What did she see the value of this being? She, I, I don't know. So what is she basing the two fifty on? Um, I, I think what she looked, I have no idea. Maybe uh, she looked up other flutes ah, that's and that were silver and stuff. And this shined up like it's silver. No, it's not silver. It's not. In other words, the finish is, let's say, you know, silver based, but it's not, yeah. it's not sturdy. In other words, that's what I mean by uh, silver. Usually they'll. So label what would it you like give? That. I would love two? for her to come in so she can explain to me what was she basing the value on. Because I mean, I found I found L card is not hard to find. Well, what are they going for? One hundred and twenty-five bucks. I mean, here's one that looks identical to it. And and it's uh, right now buy it now or best offer one hundred and twenty dollars. Shipping is twenty-one dollars. 20 oh shipping for is ship yeah shipping they're they're also charging for shipping well that's ridiculous that's Brittany Elkhart Paris yeah well I, mean, I found well that. we'll take 125 what's her name her name your name Robbie Roberta. Robbie it's really Roberta but I never go by it Unless my mother is mad at me, and then in which case she calls me Robert. Oh, <laughs> exactly. Okay, so let me explain. You said it. What was the first, What was your name? Huh? Your name? It's Robbie. 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 I go by Robbie. Okay, so let me explain to you a little how it is. And I know you came in here last time. You had a list of stuff that you remember. You were at, you had a list with yes, you. Yes, I I did. I remember you. <laughs> we um, had a talk. Huh? Um, we had a talk because uh, you you have swords and stuff. My yep. daughter has decorative swords. And so, I asked you about my guitar. 
my father's guitar. Yeah, so let me tell you how it would work. Okay. If this is selling for about $120, uh-huh. Right now I could buy this for 120 online. Yeah. You're going to get 50% of its value. That's why I told you last time. You so know, it's 50 it's 50 60 dollars. That's why like I mean and and not only that but it does have this, I should have asked. Yeah, there's damage on there. You see it? Uh-huh. So, I mean, okay. Instruments like this are a bit of a hard sell unless the price is right. Uh huh. And in my opinion, What's me selling it for a hundred and twenty dollars makes sense, but I have to buy it for less than that. Okay. And you you're want to call it? Fifty percent. Well, because if I sell it, for, if I list it out there for a hundred and twenty, worst right. case scenario, well, I put uh, it on. No, we, it's got to be a win-win situation. Yeah, okay. worst case scenario, I post it on eBay, <laughs> and if I sell it for we one twenty on too. eBay, then. After all my fees and everything, right. I'm gonna probably take home forty dollars. Let me call her. Yeah, call her. Maybe I would love. I would love to talk to her. Maybe ask her like, what model did she look up? I don't know. It's Jerry, right? Gary. Yeah. G A R Y. Hi. I'm at the pawn shop now. Can you put it on speaker? And can I put you on speaker? Okay. okay. Hello. Nikki. Hi. Hi, Nikki. How are you? Good. How are you? Pretty good. My name is Gary. Uh, your mom is here. I saw this flute a couple days ago. Yeah. So I wanted to ask you. Uh, I know she mentioned you looked it up. What model did you look up exactly besides the make, which is Elkhart? Sure. Yeah, we take pictures of everything. That's good. It's good How way are to... you? Do you play? No. <laughs> I would love to know. Do you play guitar? No. Really not. <laughs> My son does. Oh. And he plays the piano too. Yeah, I play the piano. Oh, that's good. Um, I looked it up and not only under Elkhart, um, because originally my mom said you were looking it up under the Britney. No, no, Britney I was looking up because I figured Britney was like maybe the sub-series or, or model or something like that, but I'm familiar with Elkhart. I'm just trying to find the page where sure. I want Because I found similar ones on eBay that are, yeah. you know, like the asking price is $120, for example. But it's similar flute to, almost identical to this. But I was just curious as to, obviously, I'm not, I don't know how to play these. And I might not know everything about them, but that Britney there... I figured it may have been like the model number or the series, you know? Mm-hmm. I'm um, just trying to find the page where I found what I found. And the flute does have near the mouthpiece. It does have a dent. I don't know if you noticed that or not. Yeah, I noticed that when I was polishing it. But I don't know what people with instruments do and if they know how to handle those types of things. No, nah, this is probably something that might need just a little bit of professional, you know, repair. So they can uh -huh. do that from the inside. It's just, the only thing is, usually when it's near the outer openings, it's a lot easier to like, you know, remove that dent. I'm just trying to find the page that I was in because I had looked it too. Yeah. I saw a couple of them that were on the lower end and then I saw some that were like four fifty and up but those are sterling silver. It, exactly and I was explaining that to your mom as well. I know that this one is not sterling. That one I that I can guarantee. 
But if it was Sterling, then yeah, definitely I would have probably made an offer the first visit she had. But I know that this is not uh, Sterling. That, that much I know for sure. And that Britney stamp right above where it says Paris L card, I I can't find anything. I got I even did a like a Google image search for Elkhart Britney. And nothing pulls up. And the sterling ones are they're asking three hundred to four hundred fifty dollars for the sterling ones. But something identical to this, there's one available for hundred and twenty one dollars. Right. So I was explaining to your mom, usually any shop that buys these second hand store they're going to offer you 50% of what it's selling for. I mean, if I could buy it for $120, then I would have to buy it from her, from you for $60 in order to hope I can get, let's say, $120 after my fees and everything. I'll pocket $40. Right. I, I, you know, and that, that dent on there is a big iffy, too. You didn't see that the first time around? No, I, I saw that. We, I mentioned it to her the first time. Oh, she didn't mention anything to me. Yeah, I mentioned that the first time. Yeah, I noticed that the first time. But it was in such terrible, you know. Yeah, it was kind scary. of in a rough shape maybe. But I did I did mention it to her. I'm, I'm, I'm very transparent. And I told your mom too. It's not a bad thing to hold on to it. If you're going to, let's say, you know, maybe take it up in the future. But if it's just sitting there, you notice over time that patina is going to start building up on it again. You're going to polish it again. Not only that, but the pads also over time are starting to get dry. And if you look at some of the pads from the underside, there's, a, there's a little bit of wrinkling going on on, on on the pads as well. I see. But I don't know how to play this. I don't even know if this would seal properly. I would love it if you were here. Maybe you could play it for us just to make sure. Yeah, because I yeah, could play. <laughs> I know that it works, um, but I doubt that I'm going to take it up or use it in the future. Uh, so I do. I am trying to reduce as the things that we have here are just, you know, it's so much. Um, yeah. So what, what is your what, what is your best offer that you would feel comfortable with? Nikki, if I buy this, I wouldn't pay more than 60 considering the dent and also I don't know how it plays and with all due respect, in my opinion, with that dent on there, this might be worth anywhere from 100 to 120 if I sell it. So I would have to pay you 60 to maybe make $40 maybe on it, you know. I understand. Okay, uh, how do you feel about that, Mom? I mean, it's your flute. I know. Okay. I think that it's silly to continue to hold on to it if this is our best. Yes, you're not gonna play it again. And I don't know how to play it. Alright. And Jerry doesn't know how to play it. And I'll show your I'll show your mom another damage that I hadn't seen before. What is that? I'll still honor the sixty, but do you see it? I'm looking through new eyes. Oh, it's not completely round. Yep. I see. And that that is this is where it goes in. Uh -huh. So hoping it seals properly. So there's a little dent on where one end meets the other end. It's not it's not round. It looks like someone probably pressed on it and it flattened out. Oh. You see it though, right? Yeah, I do. Okay. I'll give you sixty dollars. All I need is your mom's ID, and I'll give her the cash, and it'll be my problem, I guess. Thank you. What's your name? My name's Gary, Nikki. G A R Y. Gary, thank you for your help. I appreciate it. Is there anything else that you might be interested in that we might have for future help? Um, I would be interested in instruments that are preferably made in the U.S. Gibson Sorry. guitars, any music instruments. Um, I also take. Uh, I mean, what what the. What if we do this? I'll give your mom a business card with my cell phone number on there along with an email. If there's anything that comes to mind, shoot me a text message and I'll tell picture. you either yes or no. Great, and I can send you a picture. Because I know that we have a, a 1960 Martin uh, guitar. See? 
And, it, and that mm. online looks like it's a fortune, but it does need restringing. Okay. Um, however, we were told to maybe take it to a guitar center or a guitar shop to see, are you familiar with that kind of acoustic guitar? And there's no there's no music shop in town. Look at it, or do you think we should take it somewhere to have it looked at first, or what would you suggest? You can bring it here. I'll probably tell you probably the same, if not more, than Guitar Center. Great. Okay. I deal with guitars. Trust me. Wonderful. Well, we have we have another one too. We have a Washburn. A Washburn. Washburn. Yeah. Yeah, I'm familiar with Washburn. What did she I got say? one I got one or two on the wall. I said Washburn. Oh you did? Yeah, she said Washburn. It sounded like Wobby Bird. <laughs> yeah, but Gary heard me say it. <laughs> no, I heard you. Thank you. She's forever telling me I'm not saying what I'm saying. Because my hearing aids are not good. Oh you, you got you got you got you got a fun mom here though. She's nice. <laughs> I know, she's fun. I keep her around. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Another day. Beautiful. I appreciate you guys. Thank you. Great. It's a pleasure meeting you and speaking with you. Thank you. You too. Thank you very much. Thank you, Nick. I'll see you shortly. After the. All right. Bye bye, Nikki. Bye bye. She's a hoot and a half, my daughter. She is, huh? Yes, she is. She's very, very talented. That's, in that's good to know. I mean, obviously, you play an instrument, so she probably just picked it up within the family. I don't know, but she, our artist, she is. She draws. Draws? Yes. So she's good for I her do hands. stick figures. Oh, wow. <laughs> but she absolutely did, redid our house How old is when she? we bought it and designed everything from scratch. How old is she? She's 56. Oh, okay. Because I'm old. I don't know how old you are. You're a youngie, probably. <laughs> well, my dad actually is uh, 1954. Really? I'm older than you. <laughs> 1944. 1944. I'm hey, 80. Guys, knock on wood. You guys look I know, good for your age, though. Knock on whatever. <laughs> yeah. Roberta, what, or Robbie, I should say. Robbie. What is a good phone number for you? Um, you should call my daughter. Okay, just just for the record, what is yes, her number? Awesome. All righty, let me write this up and I'll give you cash and you'll be good to okay, go. Okay, thank you. Of course. And maybe your father will talk to me a little bit. Yeah, he's he's a little shy. You know, you know who you remind us of? Who? You want me to tell you who she reminds me of? Denise Duke. I hope it's a good person. <laughs> She's a, she was one of my one of my favorite customers. Really? Yeah. She well, moved I to, got a bunch of stuff. She <laughs> moved to Lancaster. She used to be here like constantly. Uh huh. And she moved to Lancaster, and she started uh, doing uh, working with one of our sister shops over there. Oh, really? Yeah. And I lost. I mean, she worked with them for a while, but then I don't I don't know if she still goes there or not. Mm. But very nice lady. You remind me exactly of her. <laughs> Everybody has a twin. Yeah. Out what there. is it called? A doppelganger or something? Yeah, exactly. Well, I went to a David Bowie concert and I swear to God, a, there was a kid who was walking down. He was identical to David. Identical. That's interesting. It's cra crazy. There's also this one. Um, I guess statistic where if you're in a room with 57, I think, what is it, 57 people or something? Yeah. That the chances of sharing a birthday is some crazy number. Oh, really? Yeah. I'll look this up before you leave. I want to get that quote. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's crazy. I couldn't believe it. Yeah. Jerry, do you have um, real emeralds? Real emeralds? Uh-huh. I might have a few pieces, yes. I'd like to see those. Sure. So check this out. 
okay? Yeah. The birthday paradox is a mathematical fact that states that the probability of two people in a room having the same birthday increases with the number of people in the room. Oh. Check this out. 23 people in a room. Yeah. 23 people. Uh-huh. There's a 50% chance that two people have the same birthday. Wow, 50%? 50% with, only with 23 people. Huh. 70 people, Yeah. 99.9% .9 chance that two people have the same wow. birthday. And out of 100 people, uh -huh. it's almost certain that a pair exists with the same birthday. Can you picture that? Only 23 Amazing. people share 50% chance. That's amazing. I guess that's the birthday paradox. <laughs> so there you go. That was the fact of the day. Yes. Or, or interesting uh, fact of the day, we should call it. Okay. Write them over here, please. Now, is this going to... No, it's not going to... No, well, because no, it's, it's not even going to register. No, is that no it? you're good. That's okay. it. And That's just the amazing. signature right in there. Yeah. I did think? this at the DMV and it never registered. No, ours because are. you know I have um, dry hand. Dry, uh, what, dry. Was it, were we talking about that last time? Did you ask me why do I wear gloves? No. Oh. Did I'm you ask thinking. me? No. Maybe someone no. else. Because someone asked me the other day, why do I wear gloves? Mm -hmm. So I wash my hands. Me too. I'm constantly 30, 40, 50 times a day. My hands are so dry now. Yeah, same with mine. And my daughter is just screaming at me, yeah, why don't mine you? Mine too. And then the worst part is, especially this one, which is the most common, this part right here, uh -huh. when it cracks open, yeah, yeah, see, exactly, like that. So, look at it. So, oh, I wash my hands so often that I wear gloves in order to avoid. Yeah, that's what she said yeah. to me. Yeah. But who listens? You know, she's only a daughter. <laughs> All right. She said you're well, going to dry up like a husk. That's your ID? Yes, it's a terrible 20, ID. 40 and 16. I don't think anyone's anyone's happy with their ID pictures. Yeah. I think, I think the DMV workers... I love the DMV out here, I will tell you. Yeah? I, th I think they have an internal contest. They probably have who can take the worst picture. Of, <laughs> I'm serious. That's why That's these hilarious. ID pictures are so bad. Yeah, they are. I've yet to meet someone that says, I guess the other day I was reading something where Kim Kardashian got her ID. She, they actually closed down the DMV so she could actually take the proper oh my photo God, and they use special lights and stuff. That's crazy. So Thank don't you figure. so much. You're very welcome. And I will be calling you because I've got all... Oh, I want to see the your rings. emeralds. I'm not going to let you leave here without seeing <laughs> Yeah, that's my daughter's birthstone. Oh, okay. I knew that was the reason why. One of my daughters. The, the emerald, other daughter right? was born in October and she's a Libra. So what, what's, uh, what's your... Nikki is a Taurus. Okay. What are you? I am a Pisces. Oh, Pisces. So that's a good sign for me. I'm a Cancer. Okay. Cancer is oh, March birthday. June 28th is my birthday. So I got these here. You said emerald, right? Yes. I have that very large ring in that big showcase. Oh my God. Those are all gorgeous. diamonds and they're all, <gasps> they're all genuine emerald piece. stones. Yeah, but it's gold. You want gold or silver? Silver. Silver, yeah. then that's going to be tough. Yeah, that's all my daughter wears. Okay, so let's look in that other showcase. Everything in here is all gold. That's gold too? Everything in here. Oh. It's all white gold and yellow gold. Oh, I see. Okay. So everything in here, I mean, depending on what you're trying to spend, I mean, I might have something even in, in a gold setting that I can probably accommodate for you. I got a couple things here. I got this right here. Oh, that's Is that sapphire? The, no, no, emerald. Those are emeralds? Is that blue? Oh, yeah. yeah. This one here is not good. This one I wouldn't recommend. Okay. This one. Um, but I got that one's the only, looks like, probably emerald ring I have. Yeah. It's interesting. She is more modern. Yeah. Type person. Okay, so she wants something more oh, what? Yeah, uh, clean finish. Yeah. Nothing. Similar. When's her birthday? You said, or you May, just want to? But you want to buy it for her 
for I was the holidays. Eventually. Okay, so what, maybe Christmas time or for birthday? No, maybe birthday. Birthday, then you have plenty of time, I'll find you something. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm not worried about finding you something. Yeah, you have uh, cameos? Yeah. I have some cameos. Though. I have cameos here. How much do they go for? Different prices. I mean, this is a this is a pendant. Uh -huh. This bracelet here is a very old bracelet. I could do about maybe sixty dollars for yeah, that. Beautiful. Something like that's gonna be about forty. Uh huh. But you know, I get stuff like that. I should have. I, I might have more. Well, I have stuff not. to give you. Okay. Okay. Yeah, put together like a little badge. If you uh, want to bring it in, I'll take a look at it for you. I mean, yeah. You're local, right? Yeah. How far are you from here? Uh, two shakes of lamb's tail. Oh, wow. You're right down the street. I'm right down the street. Okay. Is that the famous thing at Iwo Jima? Yes, it is. My it's, father uh, was there. Watch them do it again and again and again for publicity. Oh wow, serious? After, right after they landed, uh, his sergeant said, go on ahead because they were in um, So was this was a technically a staged? After, yeah, totally wow. staged. He told me such stories of the war. He was in every major battle in the Pacific. He was in the Battle of Alamogordo, which is up in the Aleutian Islands there. I never heard of it. He was at uh, Pearl Harbor right after they bombed. My dad's been to Pearl Harbor. Yeah, I have, I've been there too. Um, so you, you should have wrote a book. You could write a book. Yeah, I, I have so many stories. I think write a book, pass his uh, story on. Yeah. It's a good legacy to leave behind. I, I agree. Now or not I want a portion of the proceeds. I'm trying <laughs> for giving you that. Exactly. <laughs> so this scene was staged. Yeah, that's what he said. I'm sure they did it initially, and the guy said, "Oh, wait a minute, that's we didn't a great get it, shot." Yeah, we didn't get a good shot of it or something. Exactly. I can see that. Yeah, because I, it, this it's a this is a Franklin mint. Oh, that's good. I, yeah, I'm it's Frank Raymond, and it's uh, by this sculptor here, I guess, Felix. So, yeah, Yeah, this is it, the little story, I guess, that's very right. 1940. And uh, Pearl Harbor Day is coming up. Yeah. December 7th, yeah. so that'd be a good thing to have. Well, thanks for sharing the story. <laughs> this this will make a good episode for my YouTube channel. <laughs> exactly. you, 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 they're going to love you for this. <laughs> I like your attitude. Thank you uh, for coming in. Uh, it's a pleasure meeting you. Yes, same here. Absolutely. And I, it's a pleasure doing this. I will do more business with you. I look forward to it. Definitely. Pleasure is all mine. I love antiques. Sounds good. And I, uh, I look, am an antique. <laughs> and I look forward to you know looking at what you bring in next time. Good. Excellent. Great. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Bye. See, you, you, see my dad did say bye to you. Yes, he did. <laughs> You have a good one, okay, you Robbie? Too. Thank so you. I'll call you Robbie then. Yes. Okay, perfect. Please do. Appreciate you. Bye bye. But if you call me Roberta, I'll answer. Too. I might forget yeah. once in a while, but I, I'm I'm pretty good with my memory, Robbie. Okay. <laughs> I got you. Thank you, Jerry. Have a great day. God bless. You too. Thank you. Bye bye. Hey, Adolfo? Yes, sir. Right, what's up? How are you, brother? Bro. Sorry to bother you, man. No problem. Can you give me one sec? Bro? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, because I just gotta open up the thing real quick. Yeah, no worries, brother. Give me a sec, bro. Thank you, man. Nah, I got here at nine on the off. Wait a little bit for you. That's cool, bro. Yeah, it's good to see you. You look skinnier right. in person, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, <laughs> so what's going on, bro? Nice to meet you, man. Me too, brother. Gary Rodolfo, right? Yes, sir. Oh, Rudy. Man. Rudy. Oh. Huh? Rudy and Rodolfo. <laughs> thank you, man. Thanks for coming in, bro. Oh, thank you, brother. Wanted to say congratulations. Yeah, I was going to ship out your package. Yeah, but... yeah. I want, really wanted to come in the, the same day. I'm like, oh, I'm kind of anxious. I'm like, I want to go get it. Like, That's cool, man. Know, I couldn't really believe it at the time. I was like, damn. I'm glad, bro. It was so local, too. A lot of the packages have been going out of state. Really? I got one or two that went international, but... With international, it's hard, man. I gotta figure something else out. Yeah. But I might just compensate those individuals with uh, just monetary. Send them, you know, maybe a cash app or something mm -hmm. like that, or maybe a gift card, um, like electronic form. I can't ship things out because mm -hmm. just the cost of shipping overseas yeah. is crazy. So you know? that, yeah, yeah. Nah, that's nice of you, brother. 
Thank you, man. There it is. You're already man. going above and beyond with what you're doing, you know? Appreciate that, bro. Damn. That's the Paul Revere Metals Money, and then you got the half troy ounce Buffalo. Damn, brother. Two coins instead of one. And that, they have a good premium too, especially the the Money Metals one. Uh -huh. The Paul Revere has a good premium. All right. So cool, cool. I actually, you know, I, I, better. I, I tend to scratch scratchers sometimes. Yeah. Um, so I ever since I saw your your your, your videos, and I'm like, I, I want to get a silver coin. I mean, okay. I want to use that to kind of look at the the what a coincidence that I happen to win one from you. And there you go. So it's maybe a sign. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, instead of doing like if you spend let's say so much a week on those put half of that mm -hmm. and just buy you know a couple coins yeah, yeah, yeah. stash them away kids future use you never you never yeah. know on a rainy day or yeah, something yeah, yeah. You, need, you need quick cash or something you always got something mm -hmm. you know, use it for people use it a lot of them for uh, getting loans on them okay so it works out appreciate it brother of course, man. My man, pleasure. Congrats on everything, man. I hope you get to twenty-five thousand by the end of the year. I hope so, man. If man. we do, we got that ten-ounce bar. I, you know, um, gotta, uh, I know. I seen that too. Yeah, I got it right here. You want to take a look at it? Damn. You can see the difference in the weight and everything too. I've never actually hold a so damn. So nice. Hopefully, one person will take that away. Yeah. Be a good little price. Yeah, be a good starter well. package. You know, yeah, ten yeah. ounces, and then the the more we grow, the better we become. I wanted to gift you a little ticket. Oh, oh you serious, good bro? Good luck to you, man. I wow, well, thank yeah. you, man. That's cool, bro. <laughs> I'll good. make a deal with you, man. Uh, I'll scratch this. Whatever I win, we get we go thing has right, on right, it. All right, brother. Me yeah. too. I'll scratch this one too. If I all right. Have, so have Sounds good. You. Perfect. Yeah, appreciate it, man. Of now, course, man. Now I get Absolutely. To scratch, uh, get to use it for some use. You know? Yeah, I know. I got <laughs> this, this is my lucky coin for scratching. Funny you said that. I I use this one here. Check this one out. It's at the one ounce silver. Uh -huh. So silver executive decision maker. So this side says go for it. This side says forget it damn so i've been i've been trying to get one or two people to maybe do the flip a coin one yeah, yeah, yeah. and see if they win it or not you know use this coin yeah, but yeah. so far i haven't had any takers Nobody? damn well we'll see we'll find someone right, brother i should i'm gonna uh i should finalize today's episode and drop it around hopefully i'm gonna try to get it up at one o'clock today oh okay if i could get it at one o'clock it'll be cool All i think right. it'll be kind of a cool cool one these are some of the older ones Mm -hmm. Um so you'll see like price differences and yeah, stuff. Yeah, no, so you, you give everyone a lot of knowledge and within your videos and kind of be alert of what to look for and yeah, yeah. you know what I mean? You saw last week, yeah. right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh I'm gonna tr I'm trying so you got I'll tell you the story first hand. You'll hear it before anyone else. The guy from here left mm -hmm. went to scout out a gas station. One of my subscribers called me. His friend lives on the other end of town, Sycamore, which is like maybe maybe a mile and a half, two miles down. He calls him and tells him, hey, man, he goes, I just scored on the Apple AirPod. He goes, for like 25 bucks, man. He goes, he goes, what do you mean? He goes, yeah. He goes, he took a screenshot, sent it to him. He goes, yeah, man. He goes, that's the guy that sold it to me. And then he goes, I was thinking like, who, the palm broker? He goes, no, man, the other guy on the other end of the counter. Damn. He goes, you got screwed, he goes. So he goes, because when he called me initially, he told me, he goes, I want to tell you the end of your story. Yeah. And I'm thinking, who are you? He goes, I'm a subscriber. He goes, last week's video, he goes, I'm going to tell you the ending to that story that you just said. I go, why? What happened? He goes, my friend just got, like, you know, he bought a fake AirPod. Damn. The same exact guy he bought it from. Right here in town. So I told him, can you do me a favor? Can you maybe, you know, grab your friend next time you're in town? And he lives in North Hollywood. Yeah, yeah. So I go, yeah, when he comes in town, he's going to try to bring his friend here. Mm -hmm. And I go, come in and tell the story so people know right, stuff right. goes around and explain how it right. happened. Gas station guy pulled up to him. He goes, hey, man, I don't have any cash uh, for like, uh, I guess this is how we explained it. I mean, I don't have any cash for gas. So I got this in the car. So he just pulled that out. He goes, it's anything, 25 bucks, whatever you can do. I paid him 25 bucks for a fake AirPods. At the bro. time, it looks all good, and then... Yeah, man, it's sad, bro, but yeah. it is what it is, man, yeah. unfortunately. Sorry. Uh, Sorry about that. How you doing? Good, good. How you been, bro? Oh, not bad, not bad. 
Grab some coffee on the way home from uh, me. Thank you, brother. All right. Thank you. Hey, you nice meeting you, bro. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Great personality. Robbie, if you're watching the show, I really appreciate you coming back. If you guys notice, that was actually her second visit. She initially came with that flute, but we weren't able to come up with a figure. Wasn't able to find that flute. If anyone out there knows a thing or two about flutes and knows that exact model, go ahead and drop it in the comments below. I would love to hear what you guys have to say. Um, and once again, we just had another client pull up, so let's figure out what we're gonna do with him and I will be right back. I told you guys it's one busy day. How are you? Good. Excellent. Picking up? Yeah. How's your day? Good. Excellent. Is that good. Good, my friend? A lot of work? No. No? That's finish good. early today? Yeah. That's good. Go. Holiday season, plus yeah. it's Friday. Christmas. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, so 128.50, bro. Or just 128, whatever you have. Okay. You ready for the weekend? Yeah. That's your change. Right. Let me grab it for you. Yeah. There you go. All right. All right. Thank you, man. Have a great day, man. Thank Appreciate you. it. Enjoy your weekend. And we're back. So I'm going to try to make this quick before another customer walks in. But as I was saying, anybody out there knows about flutes, drop it in the comments. Let me know what you guys know about that L cart. It has a a symbol or owner marking hallmark on top that says Brittany. So Brittany Paris Elkhart. Let me know. Would love to hear from you guys. So the next scene you guys saw there, Rudy comes in, picks up his prize. That was actually from a prize giveaway that was a few weeks ago. Actually, maybe several weeks ago. I was able to finally put it together, show you guys out there. I know a lot of you have been asking have any locals come in to pick up their prize or maybe I should reach out to some. And in that case, Rudy was actually from the Valley. He came through, picked it up. So Rudy, if you're watching this, I appreciate you. Thanks for all the support and all the comments that you always jot down in the videos. Um, as for now, I guess that's about it. But there is one other thing that I wanna share with you guys. So being in this business, I like to show support to pawn shops and especially uh, colleagues of mine that own pawn shops so there's one shop out there that I want to give a shout out to a very close friend of ours it's HR Pawn in North Hollywood California so if you're a local I'll tell you what ask for Robert if you stop by the shop and what we'll do is I'll go ahead and put a link to their Instagram site right here so go to their Instagram site and I will also put a link to their direct website in the comments section. Go to them. If you buy anything online, mention in the comments section the Reliable Palm Broker. You will get 5% off on all online sales. And if you are a local and if you walk in and buy something, they'll give you an additional 15% if you mention the reliable palm broker so five percent on all online sales and 15 percent for direct walk-in great shop a very good friend of mine owns it um so ask for robert his son is also there 
ask for both of them they'll help you guys out um, you know as I, as I always say I like to show support you know they've uh, helped me in you know just the past as well so showing support to colleagues and people in this business means a lot so visit them you won't regret it as for now I guess let's jump in and see who the winner is of this Friday's giveaway all right let's rock and roll everybody let's copy the link to the video I actually decided to do the prize on this video here this week Paste it in here, filter duplicate users, and see how many comments we got. 223. And we got 10 seconds. Don't forget to qualify. Make sure you subscribe, comment, like the videos, and the winner is... There you go. Love the way you do your videos, boss man. Ian V10. So Ian, congratulations. Contact me, send me a message through my Instagram site. I'll put the link up here. Send me a message one week to claim your prize and I will send you a picture of the three coins for you to choose from and I'll have it shipped out to you as soon as possible. In the meanwhile, I appreciate all of you guys. Do me a favor, there's something that I wanna plan in the future. So I would really like for you guys all to comment below let me know where you're located and where you're watching our videos from. Country, state, city, in the comments listed, would love to know where majority of our watchers are from. And I am deciding on something for future giveaways. I'll let you guys know if everything works out. And once again, I appreciate you guys for watching, subscribing, hit that bell notification, like the videos, share the videos. I do appreciate all of you guys. And as always, enjoy your Friday, enjoy your weekend, and I'll see you guys next week. Yeah, the reliable pawn broker. You ain't never seen nothing like this. Tune in, trust you don't wanna miss. I'm talking about gold, cash, and silver. Jewelry coming, pawn that. The reliable pawn broker. You know I be on that.